Oh, we are on. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, today I just want to do a little uh, video about um, about puzzles, uh, die cut, um, puzzle, puzzle dies. Yeah. So um, I'm still fairly new to uh, paper crafting, making cards, and, and things like that. And um, this this is one of my first puzzles, puzzle dies. So, and it's lightweight, and so um, I wanted to try it out on a couple things. I first did it um, using a comic strip, and I mounted the, com the comic strip on um, two pieces of 110 pound cardstock, and I put um, some uh, clear vinyl across over the top, and I cut it out, but for some reason I can't locate it, so I wanted to show that. Um, I think it's rel relative because when you're cutting different things, you have to take into account the um, the lightness or heaviness of the paper that you're cutting that you're going to make into a die. So um, comic book paper is very light, and um, unlike this, this is a postcard, and uh, this is a postcard I designed, I think, in... Um, I think it was 2013, shortly after I completed... Um, a graphic design course, the the Adobe Suite. So I had learned how to use Illustrator and, and all those other fine um, digital crafting um, tools. So this is um, one design, and um, this particular quote I came across when I was um, studying fine art in California. Um, part of the curriculum was to do research on one uh, famous artist and. Um, this is a quote that I found by uh, Michelangelo. Actually, um, and the name is spelled wrong. So I did a bunch and I, and I had some bloopers. So I decided, um, let me see, uh, I decided to try and make a puzzle out of it. So, yeah, so um, these are bloopers, which is why um, I, I felt that these were good candidates. And I really don't know what the weight is of, um, of a postcard, you know, the, like, some cardstock is 65 pound, 110 pound, 80 pound. I don't know what weight this is. So I just did a few experiments. And um, I just wanted to mention something else. I also um, had it put on a pillow because I thought that was a great coat for a pillow. All these things were just sent off to, to Zazzle. And you know, this this was many years ago. I can't see the whole thing. It was, it's a it's about a it's about a twelve by twelve pillow, and it's just one of my favorite things because it is one of my favorite quotes, because I happen to also enjoy uh, stargazing, and astronomy and astrophysics and, and things like that. So that's why this is one of my favorite uh, quotes. Okay, so all right. Um, so the first one I tried. Um, this is without any backing so it's, it's just just the postcard itself and, I'm gonna move this aside. and i found that um the pieces they just don't they just don't um they just don't stay together very well let me see if i can see i know the quote so i can i can tell let's see so i can find just a little piece to do a join Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Okay, well, basically, it's, it's going to take too long to fiddle with this. I just wanted to, to show how the pieces... Okay, here's a part here. With a name. Okay, so... You see, they just, it just doesn't lock very well because it, it's so thin. It does, but, you know, it tends to, to, you know, do this, this type of thing. So that was too lightweight. So, and that's, that's just the, the card itself. The first card itself. Without anything on top or underneath. Alright, so the next thing I tried was... Um, I mounted it on 110 pound cardstock 
and this was with um, a product called well it's a double double sided adhesive and I think that might have had an effect as to how um, how it was um, tearing when it was separating because the double sided adhesive tends to be kind of stretchy and clingy so you know you can't get a clean break so you know um, at first I was not even able to separate these as you can see there's, there's lots of you know tearing here it, it, it just didn't break apart easily so that was the, the postcard with the uh, 110 pound just one one piece attached to the back with the um, double sided adhesive so that didn't work too well and then I tried I tried um, I tried the uh, the uh, 110 pound cardstock and um, a different kind of glue I used Tombow I had a little bit of success as you can see there's not all the pieces of the um, the cardstock on it um, yeah the cardstock underneath tearing because it just uh, it dried a little better a little differently so that wasn't too bad but with this one I had to run it through like a couple of times and it's like the more you run it through it's, it starts to wear away the edges I don't know if you can see like the edges are, are get worn so that wasn't really the best option but you know everything came apart pretty well so I didn't have to fight with it to, um, to break apart the pieces so let me set this aside. And they also it also locks in pretty good and stays in place. Like that, right? But you know the the edges got a little worn so it looks, you know, a little little raggedy before it's even enjoyed okay so this was the last one and um this this is this i think came out the best and this is the postcard with um 65 pound uh, cardstock attached with with the tombow glue and that that was the best um, no worn edges everything came apart and fit together easily you know I didn't have to fight with it oh, okay there we go you know everything you know locks locks in nicely yeah that's that's what I would recommend if you want to um, if you have some postcards and you want to make them into puzzles you know just for um, for keepsake or or to use as, as gifts for friends that would be a nice thing to do with a postcard instead of just you know um, I mean you know plain postcards are nice I mean that's nice too right <laughs> who doesn't like getting a postcard but turning a postcard into a puzzle is even more fun so oh, it's got blurry on me yeah so that's my little um, presentation today about uh, puzzle dies now there are different puzzle dies there are heavyweight different sizes so you know as I mentioned earlier I'm just, I'm just getting started with this but um, I just decided to share this a little bit about puzzles because it was such a fun thing okay so um, thanks for watching, enjoy your day, and happy crafting!